The Journal of Medicinal Chemistry is, is a worldwide leader in publishing high-impact uh, articles in the field of medicinal chemistry. So by publishing in the Journal of Medicinal Chemistry, you're in uh, outstanding company and you have uh, superb visibility. Basically, uh, a molecular formula string is a compact and unambiguous way of identifying a compound that's in a Journal of Medicinal Chemistry article. And the benefit of it is that this is a, a representation that one can easily load into any of a number of different types of software like chemical draw programs or databases or analysis tools so that one can begin working with the, art, with the compounds um, uh, without any significant barriers. Um, as you know, for maybe 55 years, uh, the Journal of Medicinal Chemistry has been presenting compounds essentially as pictures in the print edition or images in PDF files or HTML. And this is a rich and useful way of describing compounds, but the, the drawback really is that there's a barrier between those pictorial representations and bringing the compounds into the electronic world that we live in today, which is full of analysis tools and uh, databases and things like that. If a, if a reader wants to do that, you have to essentially draw the compound over again in uh, something like ChemDraw or um, ACT Sketch. And that takes time and is a place where errors can be introduced. With the molecular formula strings, there's an opportunity to simply copy and paste the information about a compound into the software uh, so it's easy to do and it reduces the uh, generation of errors. I think the value for authors is that the molecular formula strings provide a new avenue for information to flow from your article into any number of other uh, applications. And so it's a way to simply increase the impact of your work beyond the uh, traditional approach. We ended up going with smiles because we found that they tended to do a somewhat better job of capturing the compound exactly as the author drew it. Whereas with Inchi, sometimes there was a possibility that the representation would end up changed to a different tautomeric form, and which might be chemically valid, but could be, could be confusing for uh, authors or even uh, readers at times. The CSV file was chosen merely because it's just a really simple format and it works for a whole bunch of different spreadsheets and for people who write uh, software and want to start working with these files in various ways, it's a very easy kind of format to work with. The first thing to do is to just get a look at the instructions on the Instructions for Authors pages. What you want to do is go to Instructions for Authors and then follow a link down to Manuscript Preparation. And under there, you'll find two items. One of them is Instructions uh, for Preparing the Molecular Formula Strings file. And the other one is a, a template file. And what I want to do now is just show you really quickly, now that you've created the CSV file, uh, which is back here, how to upload it along with your manuscript submission. So once you've gone through the whole Paragon Plus process and arrived at the file upload page, which is shown here, you're going to upload your manuscript and any other components. And then you're going to go to um, File Designation and choose Supporting Information for Publication, and then just Use Choose File to browse your file off um, your hard drive and upload that and, uh, and you're all set to go. So I'm going to show you how you can now use a molecular formula string to avoid having to draw a compound. So let's say you're interested in compound 1A from this paper, so you're going to go to the CSV file in your uh, spreadsheet, do a simple um, copy, and then we're going to go over here to um, ChemDraw and we're going to do paste special smiles, and there's our compound. So, um, and this can of course be done for all the other compounds in the spreadsheet, so you have immediate access to the chemical drawings that you want, and you can start working with these uh, at your leisure in the software of your choice. If you're reading an article on the homepage and you're interested in seeing whether there are these molecular formula strings that you can uh, work with, just click on supporting info on the uh, page that shows the article, and that'll take you to uh, all the supporting information for it. And if you find, uh, hopefully, a .csv type file, you'll be able to click on that, download the file, load it into your uh, uh, spreadsheet or whatever software you want. And if you need some help, you need a little bit of advice, you can actually send email to um, the editorial office. And a good email to use for that is jmc, jmedchem. So jmc at jmedchem.acs.org.